Welcome back to wagertalk.com. I'm Marco D'Angelo and I'm joined in studio by the newest member of wagertalk.com, Scott Spreitzer. Scott, welcome aboard. It's been a while, buddy. Uh, we've worked together in the past. Uh, everybody knows uh, we've been some other places and uh, good to have you back on board. For those of you that don't know Scott, uh, you've probably been living in our, under a rock for the last 30 <laughs> years. Um, I can remember watching you on TV. I mean, I've been doing this forever, so 36 years. But I can remember Saturday morning seeing USA Cable, mm -hmm. seeing the Smash Mouth capper, <laughs> Scott Spreitzer. Smash Mouth was great, and then all of a sudden it went to a read option and spread option. We had to change things up a little bit. It's, it's no more uh, Smash Mouth football for the most part, although we're going to talk about a game uh, this week that involves some Smash Mouth football. But you're right, man. It was a great time back then. Uh, worked with some really cool people and uh, worked with hosts like Jack Snow, an All-American wide receiver at Notre Dame, who went on to uh, to obviously have that All-Pro couple of seasons uh, as a receiver with the, with the L.A. Rams, then the L.A. Rams. And then Al Bernstein, you know, and we worked together for quite a few years and doing a lot of radio. We've, I've known you now for about five years, and it's an absolute blast uh, to be a part of Wager Talk. I've enjoyed it. We started about uh, August 8th or 9th, somewhere around there, and, and uh, it's been great. Um, fantastic opportunity to be around you, Johnny Detroit, the Prez, Brian Leonard, guys like that, so I'm glad to be here. Well, it's, uh, and you're off to a nice uh, run uh, joining there, so it must be something in the water. That's what it is. Over the, <laughs> it, it, the wager Talk. But one question I got to have for you, and going back to all those years way back when with the TV show, how is it that I can remember you all that way back, but it, it seems like you should be older than me <laughs> watching you on TV. <laughs> how, how did the math work out on that? It, it worked okay. It, it, I like the way it is. Yeah, uh, yeah okay. but uh, it, it feels weird to say that I've been doing this now. I got my start on the Stardust line of all things in 1991, so it's been basically 24, 25 years in the business. Uh, not just betting on plays, but also providing plays for clients. And it's been almost 25 years now since I got my start on the Stardust line, and yet I'm still only 40. You know? <laughs> 40, what? I'm betting the over on that one. Uh, Stardust, you know, and from time to time, you know, when we do videos and stuff, you know, we're going to talk about, you know, some of the stuff back in the day and that. And the Stardust, I can remember uh, when I used to come out here, Scott, I mean, I made my first trip to Vegas in 1984. I had more Stardust logo crap in my closets <laughs> than I used to because I loved that logo, but sure. yet it was the mystique. And, you know, now you've got, you know, the Internet, Offshore Books mm -hmm. here in town, everybody rushing to be the first ones out with lines and that. Back then, there was only one place that sure. was rushing to bring out the lines. That was the home of it. I mean, and they wore that moniker well home, you know, of the opening number. And right. We all waited for that Sunday night you know, to see what the numbers were for the next week. And, you know, and I can remember that room. Do you remember the room, the room to the side of the sports book the, where uh, they used library. to have, yeah, yeah, where they used to have all the like printouts oh, yeah. and stuff, you know, yeah. stuff that now, you know, we can look at on smartphones. Sure. Back then, you're, you're huddling, looking over somebody's oh, shoulder. You know, 3,000 pages hanging from the <laughs> bulletin boards in that, we called it the library yeah. back then. It was right around the corner yeah. from the sports book. But uh, it got its fame. You know, Lefty Rosenthal started doing that TV show from the sports book. And then it morphed into uh, Lee Pete, the late, great Lee Pete. Mm -hmm. And Jim Brown, the former Cleveland Browns running back, who hosted the radio version in the sports book for several years. And then Seed Williams took over. He called me up. He says, you want to be on? Next thing I know, we're hosting together for five or six seasons through the 1996 season. And, uh, boy, it just led to a lot of people getting their start in this business. You know, guys like Teddy Covers, Andy Yisko, guys that we've all worked with mm -hmm. who were all around the Stardust line back then. It's been an absolute blast to have been a part of that alumni. Yeah, and you've got an extensive broadcast history. I mean, you've been on radio. You've been here in town. You do a lot of um, national shows. And um, I want to congratulate you on uh, a pretty nice uh, little coup you got coming up this football season. You're going to be heard every Saturday. I'll let, I won't steal your thunder. I'll let you go ahead and say right. it. Uh, it's just looking forward to this. This is something that kind of came up. Uh, based off of what happened last year, I did some shows on the SEC Network, Paul Feinbaum show. And what happened was, Marco, is, you know, you get to know some of the producers. If they like your work, then you get other gigs that go along <laughs> with it. Well, I got to know the producer of the Paul Feinbaum show, and he started putting me on other shows, uh, uh, college football, bowl game previews, things of that nature. Calls me up a few weeks ago, and he goes, how'd you like to do the Mel Kuyper show on Saturdays this year, Saturday morning? So uh, I told him, let me think about it. I'm kidding, obviously. But I, told him, yeah. I go, definitely, let's do it. I'm ready for it. So it's Dari Noka, Mel Kuyper, 
and I'll be joining the crew, those two guys, uh, every Saturday morning at 9.30 a.m. Eastern, 6.30 a.m. Pacific. So a couple of hours before kickoff, we're going to be discussing at least three or four you know, uh, of the five power conferences. We're going to discuss three or four big games uh, per week. I'm going to give them a three or four plays per week of my own and maybe a game or two from Sunday's NFL. So should be a good 15 to 20 minute segment each and every Saturday morning. I can't wait to get started. Uh, and I, nothing but thanks to uh, Dan, who set the thing up, and obviously Dari Noka and Mel Kuyper, uh, who are going with that Vegas slant for at least part of their show. And it's about time, huh? It's that these great. networks start doing this. You know, it's really and nice. I like the fact that you'll be doing it, representing WagerTalk.com. There so. is that too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, Scott, we got to wrap this one up again. Welcome aboard, and you can find all of Scott's plays at wagertalk.com. He's off to a great start uh, since joining the site, and this guy has a lot of knowledge. 